Hello guys, welcome back to Digimon Master Online. It's been really since like months or maybe more. I wasn't online and I missed a couple of events, but today I came back with a couple of events. We can see like we have three till four events in one. I just really kind of cool. <laughs> you know, just doing a couple of events in one, so it's really kind of good. So, uh, the first event in here from Galatamon is gonna tell you here if you do. I have already done that, but when you talk to him, he's gonna give you a summon card and you have to go there and feed Galatamon X. And he has a couple of drops, suits, uh, antibody factors, and many, many of other stuff. And it depends on luck actually. And the second event is the event that was last year we had the same event, the Toy Agumon one. So you have to do it to, to collect those blocks. You just go and kill a couple of Toy Agumons and collect a couple of blocks. You won't get those blocks if you played last year or if you remember you won't get those blocks. You will get just the gray one and then you scan those one. And then you get like red, yellow, green, blue. Last year the blue one was really rare to have. So last year I had too much red, yellow, green, and the blue one was really rare to have. I didn't have too many of, the, of it. And I have to farm too many uh, toy agamons in order to get the blue one. Because as you can see the blue one as well, it's really important. In order to gain the burst mode that you need in here. So, moving to event 2, the event 3, sorry. The third event is the Holy Beast in here. They're gonna give you here a couple of quests, and each one gonna tell you what quest you wanted to have. Like in, in this one, it's gonna tell you to defeat the raids in here, and the raids shows in here in the middle of the screen, like the one in Ferdinand, or I think, yeah, Terminal. Yeah, if you can just see the raids in here, like. He's appeared in digital world or something you have to ask where it is and you do the raids in here and the price is this thing here here as you can see it's called the thing moon events okay you get this thing and this thing is you can do it with digital moon inside and we're gonna talk about it later so the second one is to collect the essence. You remember those essence that we were collecting them? I don't have any of them right now, but the essence that you can make a ticket of. And it's really kind of easy one. Like you can collect the scar essence in here. The first one, you can collect them from uh, ice map. The second one here, the flame, you can collect them from File Island. The third one here, you can collect them from uh, the server continent. And the, f and the fourth one in here, you can collect them from Digimon Maze, any floor, from B2 until F4. You can collect them easily. So it's really going to be easy and yeah, it's going to be really kind of fun to do. And you're going to have the, this thing and, and I just don't know what it's called but we can skip it right now <laughs> so the third one is you're gonna get here the the quest in here and you're gonna see you have to feed the holy beasts in the dungeons and the moon as you can see it's in Fangalamon dungeon because I, I think it's from Fangalamon dungeons because as you can see they are I think in one map or something like that yep I think they are in but that's weird here it says I can use a jump poster and <laughs> I don't know it's really kind of weird so um, it's from dungeons so and the third one in here he's gonna to tell you to defeat Fangulmon here I already picked the quest and he's telling me here to defeat Fangulmon let me see I think oh they are in the same map so yeah I think I think like in, in the new dungeon so, uh, we skip there as well, and the fourth event, I think, the fourth one, or the fifth, yeah, the fourth, 
is collecting candies. I saw a couple of videos on YouTube that the candies, even just to collect candies. I actually I didn't do it before, and it's the first time I'm doing it. Cause yeah, we're gonna talk about that. So you collect candies, and you're gonna get your good rewards. I think like did you Oro, Joker's chip, buffs. I think. I think those are buffs uh, for 15 days, but I think they are buffs. It gives you attack 100 and XP 100%. I'm gonna get here the Digi Aura for 15 days, the Smoke Man for Halloween. And you're gonna get like skin memories, data, backup, X antibody factors, and yeah, you're gonna get good items. So, um, we're gonna keep talking in the candy one. <laughs> so, I, as, as you can see here, the candy crumbs. I, I managed to collect some from the Digimon. So you go and kill any Digimon in any map, and they're gonna drop those stuff, those candy crumbs. And I got here a couple of them. So just by killing it, any Digimons you see in the map, and you're gonna get those stuff. And hmm. And as you can see here, a candy made in higher quality, it's a scannable, so I don't know what, what it's gonna give. I'm gonna try to make a special episode about that, talking about that. So, uh, the second one is this item that we were talking about, that you get and get from daily quest from Holy Bees. As you can see in here, you can get um, double chicken combos and other good stuff. Wow, X antibody, Gobomon X, it's really kind of cool. But this thing, DNA, I don't know actually from where it does, can you bring it? I, I asked a couple of my friends, I asked anyone, and no one has an idea where where, where they can get it. this thing that's called DNA stuff. This. I asked about, I asked around, and I looked around, but I didn't see any results. From where you can get this DNA, so it's still like kind of mystery actually. So this for the events that we had it here today in the Digimon Master Online, and and as you can see here, the data has already changed. The snow has been removed. The decoration has been removed as well, and. Uh, I think the next update gonna be in 19 March so I think like 12 days later so we're gonna have a good time actually to farm those toy Agumon stuff and talking about toy Agumon stuffs I'm gonna say let's discuss those 61 gray blocks and let's see if the drop rate for the blue bricks are the same or it has been changed so we're gonna scan a couple of them and here we go let's see what's gonna be here mm -hmm. as you can see we didn't get the blue one <laughs> it's 61 scanning so it's gonna take a little bit of time so we're gonna see what's what are we gonna to have because we already talked about them and I really want to know if they are the same rare as they were the last year and I think yes they are the same oh the first blue one that's good that's good so we keep scanning I wish we can get the, another blue and those are kinda rare right now But I think we're gonna have some some blue bricks or oh, come on.
second blue one. So we scanned 61 gray blocks and you get 50, uh, 35 red, 11 green, 13 yellow, and 2 blue. So, yeah, it was really kind of fun to scan those stuff. And it's better to perform more and more in order to get the uh, burst mode that I need for Galatamon actually. And I hope I can get that. So we're gonna see here, they are all the same, all the same requirements in here. As you can see, any any one is the same one. Besides this one, I turn off nothing. It's like 50, 40, 35, 30. It's because it's really a rare one to get. And as well as Omega Blade is kind of more than the others. And that was the event that we talked about. I wish you guys you enjoyed this video and you like it. If you liked it and enjoyed, you can like, share, or do anything on subscribe to the channel. I know it's the channel is kind of dead, but yeah, I'm doing my best to get the channel is good. So wish you guys have time and see you later in another episode of Digimon Masters Online.